Hi, good people. It's your life coach, Leslie Wynn. I saw something on the internet today, and that's what I decided I'm going to share with you, okay? I hope for those of you who are parents that you, that you listen in on this, because whether you're a mom or a dad, this is something that I really believe is important for us to really do some introspection on and to evaluate how we are parenting. And um, it really comes down to us um, looking at ourselves to determine, do we really love ourselves? And if so, then we should have the capacity to love our children the way that they need for us to love them. So I was on the internet today and I saw a post on Instagram. It was a young man who was very hurt and angry and rightfully so. Um, because his mother, who raised him as a single mother, told him all through his, um, his growing up that his father considered him a mistake and that his father didn't pay child support, basically that his father didn't want to be a part of his life. And he later came to find out that his father had receipts, like literally receipts, to show that he had been um, supporting his son and also that he'd been trying to be a part of his son's life from the beginning, but the mother would not allow him. He then shared how his mother was very physically abusive. And the reason why I say it really comes back to how we see ourselves and how we love ourselves is this, okay? So before I get into why it's so important that we allow for our children to have healthy relationships with the other parent, let's talk a little bit more about what was behind um, the motives, whether or not this mother knew it or not, what was behind her behavior, okay? So if a mother, if a woman, if a person, okay, knows who they are and they are okay with who they are, okay? So they know that they are of worth, they love themselves, they esteem themselves even if they feel rejection from others, okay? If they know they have worth, even if they are rejected by someone who they even care about, then they will be in a position to, they will more easily be able to allow the other parent to still share in the life of that child because they understand that it's not about them. They understand that, yes, I am a person, and even though this person didn't want me, it doesn't mean that I'm any less of a person. In addition to that, they are able to not be selfish and say, you know what, even if he wasn't um, good as far as being a, a lover or a, a husband or a boyfriend or whatever that relationship was, it doesn't mean that he can't be a good father. And so you have to also realize that if this person is showing that they are concerned for their child and they are wanting to be a part of their life, then you have to give them the opportunity to be a good father. Or if it's a woman and you know, if you're the husband or the man who was left, you have to give that woman a, the chance to be a good mother, okay? So when you love yourself, then even though you, you know, despite the pain that you may feel from the rejection or the hurt or whatever happened during the relationship, you come to a place where you're able to say, okay, I have to work through my healing. However, if this person chooses to be a positive role model and a parent to my child, because I love my child, then I must allow them to have this opportunity. I don't want to deprive my child of the love and the nurturing that they need because I'm still hurting. It doesn't mean that you may not still be hurting, but you have to get out of your own feelings and stop being selfish and allow the other parent to parent that child. What do you think that, how is that benefiting the child to, to keep that father away from that child? And don't you think it's going to catch up with you? Sooner or later, that child is going to know that you, you, with, you withheld something that they needed, okay? Let's go back to Maslow's for those of y'all who, who, you know, who, who learned about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You took a basic need away from your child because you are so bitter toward that other parent. How selfish is that? We cannot allow ourselves to get so into our feelings, meaning so self-absorbed into what, however bad they may have been toward you or however um, bad you perceive them as being 
to where you do not allow them to nurture and parent their child. Now that child has so much resentment toward the mother. Now, it doesn't just end with the mother. How do you think that that is going to impact the way that he sees women? How do you think that's going to impact how he engages with the opposite sex, whether it's romantically or just in any type of relationship? She has planted something so poisonous in her son's mind toward women. You know, the poison did not end with him just being hurt by his mother. But it can also affect how he sees other women. Let's think beyond ourselves and think about the impact that these decisions have on our children, not only in the present, but long term. And let's look at the root. If this mother had self-love, she would have had the capacity to love her child. She would have been able to sacrifice how she may have felt in the moment and said to herself, you know what, maybe I need to go to some therapy, maybe I need to speak to someone. But in the meantime, my son still needs his father and his father is doing the best to be a good father to his son. Doesn't mean that you have to be up in his face. But you could have made arrangements. We can make arrangements for our children to have the loving support of the other parent. Now, sometimes there are situations where the other parent is toxic and there is no way, shape, or there is no way that this parent is healthy for your child. Okay, that's a different story, okay? But you still don't have to take it out on your child. Remember I said she was very abusive to this child and she told the child that his father said that he was a mistake. Now, it may be that she thought the child was a mistake, but instead she projected that onto the father. Because remember, the father was the one trying to be in this child's life while she was beating him up. And he goes into how, like, how, how heinously she beat him. And it just it really hurt my feelings, uh, you know, so to speak. It really, I just felt really, my, I felt really bad for this young man. It sounds as though she felt that he was the mistake and she was bitter that the man had left her. So she took it out on her son. Let's learn to love ourselves. Um, from personal experience, okay, I have gone through a relationship that ended and, um, you know, it, it didn't, it wasn't a healthy situation. However, I still, at least in the beginning, tried to make things work for my children. Meaning after the, the marriage was over, okay, I tried to provide access for my children to their, to that parent, right? But that parent was not really interested. I did not become bitter and take it out on my children. I didn't even tell them certain things because certain things they don't need to know, you know? They're young. They don't need to know everything. You have to know how to cover your children and to protect their heart and their minds from from things that are toxic things that could cause them to to see themselves in a poor light and that all comes first with knowing how to love yourself how to not put yourself at the forefront and leave your children in the background meaning how to to prioritize their development and their mental health okay over your current feelings please if you need to speak to someone speak to someone if your child has a parent who is loving and not toxic to them, and they want to be a part of this child's life, let them do that. Their lives depend on the nurturing of both parents whenever possible. Don't be selfish. This will impact how they see uh, you in the future as well as how they see the opposite sex. Set the, set the foundation for them to have healthy relationships in the future by doing your part in showing love and in guiding them in how to be a good human. We're not perfect. We all need help. And this is just encouragement to you to please put your children's needs um, at the forefront. Love and blessings to you.